Hey, it's Relly Girl. Today we're going to be touring four great camps by Ultramarine Fox, Reasonable Madness, Zaliista, and Nidus. Let's get started. Ultramarine Fox's camp is northeast of the Hornwright Estate. Ultramarine Fox, thank you for showing me your camp today. You are most welcome. Cause... Well, it's a, a pleasure to give, you know, just get the opportunity to show a camp off. I'm very excited. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. All right, then. So um, I kind of got the bug to build underground camps, uh, thanks to uh, one or two friends who had been doing it very successfully, um, <clears throat> including one who was called AI Maggot, who built um, on the opposite side of this particular nuclear silo. So I thought, well, why not? Let's, let's give it a go myself. So this is an enclave themed camp, as you can tell by my uh, my outfit. Yes. And uh, allow me to show you into the entrance hall, where we will go down underground. Okay. Ooh, you disappeared. <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> Here comes <Welcome> everybody. <laughs> now, I've got a couple of turrets in here because we do get a little bit of trouble with mole rats. Oh, no. <laughs> As you can imagine, they do like to pop up every now and again. Oh, man. Even under here. Even under here. Oh, wow. That's right. They, like, tend to float as though they're floating above the stairs. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they pop down. It's like, ah! <laughs> oh, gosh! <laughs> I know. It's silly, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> one or two things to point out to your attention. So, obviously, the, being the entrance, uh, a lot of our people want to have a look and see what's in our uh, tills over here, our vending machines. Mm -hmm. And, naturally, we're flying the American flag. Oh, I don't sound American. <laughs> <laughs> I've sort of taken over. <clears throat> so, let's move down one level into our dining area. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Look at I this. I never imagined that I would... Naturally, we have to be on the alert for communism. Oh, wow. And as we've all learned, communism is just a red herring. <laughs> this is very much based on the enclave base of the White Spring. I did mm -hmm. a, few, a little bit of a recce to see what it looked like, and I thought, yeah, this is quite a, a near approximation. Yeah, it looks really good. Got all of the uh, accoutrements. You got the uh, cooking stove over there, and the fridge, the water, and, and even um, a little cabinet to have a look into your stash. Uh, naturally, the uh, buff machines came out as well, so you've got um, something to pass the time with as well while you're waiting for your food. <laughs> And of course, the tour would not be complete without the final floor. So if you'd like to uh, go down the stairs, okay. we'll see what the main purpose of the uh, base is all about. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Oh, uh, you startled me. And this is our nerve center. So this will help you to um, monitor the missiles as they're uh, being launched from the silo. Wow. And I met someone, a stranger. So cool. I love it. That stranger. Thank you. A stranger anymore at all. This is really great. I'm going to look out here too. Fate or any of that. But I do know that I will not change the so do you have anything in your shelter that you have placed there too? The shelter is based on um, 
just essentially another place where you can put all the workbenches down. Okay. So uh, I normally use it for other camps, but I thought it might be useful to keep it there. Yeah. I do that sometimes too, just so you don't have everything kind of sitting around if you don't want it out. Yeah, very nice. This is so cool. I really like it. So, um, this is our science area. As you can see, I've collected most of the tubes that are available. Yeah. So it looks as though they're all being monitored. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're so creepy. That one there. Oh, gross. I know. The cave cricket really does give you the shivers. <laughs> it does. <laughs> wow. So cool. I love it. This is really neat. And all the power armor. Oh, yes. What's this one in the middle? That is the Enclave skin um, for the T-65. Okay. That looks sharp. Very nice. Although with the two prototype XO-1s next to it. Okay. It uh, looks kind of good. Yeah. I like those new power armor station skins too. Those look really cool. Oh, they certainly do. I was very impressed when I saw those. Yes. They really make it make it just right. It does, for sure. And now, of course, the pièce de résistance right behind you. What's that? The missile itself. Yes, I was wondering. Oh wow! Wow, look at that. Have you ever been down uh, here and and seen it go off? Yes. How cool. Absolutely. And it would look amazing. Wow, I bet. <laughs> Although I, I don't know how many people have jumped off the end here and tried to jump on top of the missile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I would want to try that. Look at there. <laughs> well done, K-pop. You've just look gone at that. outside. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <Yeah. laughs> that one didn't end so well there <laughs> sadly not oh that's funny <laughs> <laughs> well this is a great camp thank you so much reasonable madnesses camp is just south of Helvetia at the bridge Reasonable Madness, it's nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Are you ready to show me your camp? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So, this is my first complete one on PC. Cool. And I built the foundations under here a very long time ago and never completed it. Oh, neat. Um, so, yeah. I Look finished this. this. Oh, how cool. It's a... Uh, Real pain, because a lot of it says it's on water, so you have to remove the foundations, put them back. And... Oh, wow. This is really great. Thanks. Look at all this. This is so cool. I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> <laughs> How neat. And then there's a hole inside. Oh. Wow. Look at all the merging here. This is great. Yeah, I have a bit of a merge problem. <laughs> Love it. It's so much fun. Once you start, it's hard to stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So cool. There's so much to look at. I don't want to, like, miss any of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that, the armor station in the desk. Can't hardly even tell that it shouldn't be like that. That's amazing. Looks so good. Thanks. Some of them are just so ugly and they don't fit in the build, so mm -hmm. you hide it. Yeah, it, it looks is great. So good. Aw, oh, you use the kitty. I love using that kitty. Right? So cute. The bed's not usable, unfortunately, but the hammock is. Aww. That's okay. It looks so great, though, you know? Love it. Thanks. You know, 99 times out of 100, I don't use my bed anyways, either. It's just like, it's just there for pretty. 
<laughs> really looks great. This is so nice. Thank you. So then it only ended up being about 50% budget. Wow. And I can't I can't leave the budget unused. So there's another shack okay. over there that has more benches and stuff like that and the ammo box and oh, the okay. scrap box. Because yeah. those didn't really fit in here. Let's go check that out. Oh, and I see, is it Steven? Is that his name over there? Scarberry? Yeah, Steve, Steven Scarberry. Cool. Is that his oh. name? This looks really cool. Thanks. I think this might be one of the smallest I've done. Very nice. It looks great. I just love that sink so much. It works so well. Mm hmm Looks great. Oh, some... <laughs> wow. I love these new walls from that... Is it the Abandoned Mine Kit or whatever it's called? Oh, love it. Right? Because then... Those ones on the wall behind you, mm -hmm. K-pop being a creeper, <laughs> you turn around. <laughs> I love how they like completely disappear and it makes building some things a lot easier. Yeah. So cool. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just a little deck and a dock. That's nice. Strawberry was just falling off the cliff, so I gave him a dock. <laughs> I'd be building, and then all I'd out here would be like, like the kadump of water. <laughs> so now he doesn't kadump into the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice from here, too. Very cool. Thanks. Well, this is a great camp. Thank you very much. I, yeah, quite enjoy it. Zaliista's camp is northeast of Harper's Ferry. Well, hello. Welcome to my camp, Relly. Hi, Zally. Hi. So, two things. This was made during Halloween, and I'm keeping it, but in real life, I'm also a witch. So that's another reason why I'm going to keep this one. I'm not going to change it, and I really like it. I like the place where I picked, and I had so much fun building this one. It looks so cool. It's so super cool when it's at, at, at the dark. Yeah. If it's light, it's not so much. The colors look so neat. I love it. So this is the front. This way. Oh, wow. And of course, we have the, we have the both of the um, candy balls. Yeah. I love the bats, too. <laughs> so cute. And of course, she has her familiar. Oh, yeah. And she has to read someone's fortune. Here we go. Oh, neat. I like that. And of that. course, the ringing of the doorbell. Creepy doorbell. That's cool. You got the, On the sage. Inside, I do. I, I have it everywhere. Neat. Look at this. Wow. So she has her, she celebrates her heritage. Her pentagram is all above her fireplace. Oh, wow. With her black cat. Yeah. Keeping warm. Look and of course, this. she has her, her cup of witch's brew when she needs to relax. Right next to it. Oh, yeah. And when her boyfriend shows up, she's got an extra costume for him. That's cool. How nice. And in every camp I do, I make some sort of aquarium. In other camps, I have a full-blown aquarium that I make. But if you turn around, you'll see one behind you. Oh, neat. Oh, that's really cool. And over this way is her inside altar. Wow. And of course, she has her incense coming up out of the off the table. Oh, 
That looks really neat. Wow. And when she needs to do her recipe, she has it off of the chalkboard, and then she can just whoosh, take it away when she needs to so no one else can see it. Oh, cool. And all her, all her ingredients are right here along with her cauldron. Huh. Some are in jars, some are not in jars. Oh, that's cool. That looks really good. I love these she walls. Needs rest. When she needs a rest, her bedroom is back here. Oh. Oh, wow. The lighting in this is just great. It looks so good. I had so much fun. Jack helped me. Jack Amara helped me with the lighting in the walls. Mm -hmm. so now I know that trick. So great. Wow, looks really good. And of course her chandeliers in the ceiling. Yeah. And now through this door, no door, but through this door is her garden and oh, her wow. greenhouse. Nice big room. Wow, this is really cool. You never really know cool. what you never know what a witch is gonna need, and mm -mm. she never knows that she has a a plethora of everything. Yeah, this is great. And her worm farm in the back. Yeah. And of course, her outside her sink over here when she needs to rinse off her her herbs. Oh yeah, very nice. And through this door is her outside altar. Oh, the well. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, cool. This looks really great. And, of course, over in the corner over here is her pet cemetery. Oh. Oh, wow. Very cool camp. I really like this. Oh! Because <laughs> you never know. <laughs> the man-eating plant. <laughs> She can suck it up. She's a witch. She can cast it off over. <laughs> That's right. I really, I really had fun with this one. It is great. This is really cool camp. Thank you. Thanks. Nitus's camp is just north of Nuka World on tour. Hi, Nitus. Thanks for showing me your camp. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. You're very welcome. So, uh, this is a, uh, Tudor building. Uh, Probably built pre-war. I'm guessing uh, uh, not too many are going to be built afterwards. Looks really cool. I, I did really like the way my porch came out, although I will admit it was a complete accident. Um, this tree growing through it matched with the uh, leaves that were already part of the uh, porch design. Yeah. So it uh, was a Happy accident. Looks but good. I really liked it. Yeah, looks great. This would be uh, Leo's house from the last season. Okay. So it is heavily decorated with Nuka World memorabilia. Nice. His television has been swapped out for a blackboard and a mounted fish. Cool. But otherwise, it's a fairly standard living room. I like that wallpaper, too. It looks cool. Yeah, I was going for more of a 70s era for it. And the uh, the televisions and lamps on it yeah. seem to fit in pretty well. It looks yeah. good. Underneath the steps, we got the vacuum cleaner because... Hey, Leo. Where else are you going to put it, right? Yeah, exactly. 
Can't really build closets. Mm -mm. The uh, kitchen here nice. is fully equipped and functional. Yeah. And in the back, we got a small bathroom. And your washer dryer, nice. Yeah. An attempt was made for privacy, boarding up the window, but it <laughs> uh, doesn't work too well. <laughs> it looks good. I like this. I think Leo likes it. He's singing a song. Yeah. He sings a lot, actually. <laughs> now, his bedroom in here, he doesn't actually spend all that much time in. Nice bedroom. I'll uh, let you come inside to get the full effect before I close the door. Okay. So, oh, wow. The door closed. It feels a little bit more homey. Yeah. That's nice. He has a guilty pleasure of collecting creepy old dolls. <laughs> Hasn't fully unpacked Don't yet. Don't you find it amusing how Nuka-Cola bottle caps are now used as currency? <laughs> I never would have guessed it. And his study right over here. Again, he's got a bit of a thing for creepy dolls and plushies. <laughs> nice. I like it. it. Looks really cool. Somebody seems to have stolen his gun off the wall, though. It happens. <laughs> so, uh, let's leave the one I opened there, Leo. That's right. Strange. Just a small little crafting area. Okay. Out here with uh, some storage overflow off to the left. Yeah. Mostly stuff that he found in the house and pushed out here to uh, make room for his own stuff. Okay. Very nice. And he does have a a treehouse back here that the former occupant's children used to use. Oh, okay. See if I can get up here without falling. Woo! Made it. Oh, cool! So, not too much up here, but it's a place to get away. Yeah! Nice little fire there. Cool, I like it. Oh, and water back here. And his little back patio here has his hot tub and some seating area. Oh, that's great. Presumably it was a bit nicer of a view before the bombs fell, but... Hey, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. Especially looking that way. A little bit too much soot in the air for my taste, but yeah, it worked. <laughs> little subsistence farm back here for gourds and yeah, homemade manure. Very cool. And his festive little tree as a center point back here. Neat. Hard to see in the, during the day, but it is all lit up at night. Oh, cool. Neat. And, of course, this tornado shelter in the back. Oh, okay. So the house is in decent shape. It's overgrown. There are trees and branches growing all throughout uh, the porch and vine climbing up this uh, yeah. at the western wall. The tree house, uh, the tree itself is dead, but it's growing through the uh, windmill over there. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's seen better days, but for Fallout, it's functional. Yeah, it's very cool. Well, that's a great camp. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, anytime. Thank you.